Welcome to the Lemonhead Podcast, where each week we bring steps to help simplify your life. We cover topics in homeschooling, nutrition, stress relieving tips, and just about any other topic that would help all of us achieve the life we deserve. Oh yeah, one last thing, we're building our house out of a school bus. With that out of the way, thanks for tuning in. Let's get on with the podcast. Hey guys, thanks again for downloading my podcast. I'm super excited to be here with you today to bring you um, something that might be considered a little bit unrelated to this topic of the school bus and where we're going. For me, this whole journey... Okay, let me start here. I'm always trying to find ways to improve myself. Like, for instance, the bus, you know, this, this school bus that we're doing. I know some people might think that it has nothing to do with it, but, you know, it's to me, I look at it as a self-improvement, a tool for self-improvement. It's to, you know, scale down, to lower my costs, to hopefully bring my family closer together, to be able to move from where we're at, to be able to, you know, help us achieve the dreams that we think we want, at least, you know, help us explore that possibility and along the side of this, you know, the school bus project, you know, you have to start doing a lot of mental preparation. If you guys are thinking of doing this, you know, moving into any kind of small, you know, tiny house or, or a school bus or whatever it is, in the, you know, whatever that case might be that you guys are trying to, the path you guys are trying to uh, decide to go on, this is a pretty big leap for some people to move from these huge, you know, well, relatively huge houses. Even if you have an apartment, it's huge compared to a tiny home, at least, for instance, the one we're building, the school bus. I mean, it works out to, you know, roughly, uh, I don't know, I don't remember, I don't, I have it written down somewhere, 275 square feet roughly or something like that. It's pretty big when you think about it. Well, pretty small. Um, it's a pretty big move in the sense of all the stuff that you need to do to kind of prepare for it. But besides preparing for it, like getting rid of all of these unneeded things that just clutter your 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 house or your apartment that you live in right now, you need to really start to mentally prepare yourself. Now, I am a spiritual person, but I'm not necessarily a religious person. Um, for the most part, most of the stuff out there... I've either been totally against it or felt that it was kind of like hokey or, or, you know, I'm there trying to do right down. You know, I, I've, I'm always looking at like self-improvement books. I'm always looking at all of these different things. And I, I read a lot of these books, but for the most part, I always have, you know, a little voice in the back of my head telling me that it's hokey. And even if I'm by myself in, you know, in my office, and I'm trying to follow any of the steps or any of the the recommendations that these books, you know, these, these people give you. I feel embarrassed to just sit there and be walking through these steps. I feel like it, it almost feels like I have somebody watching me and I'm embarrassed. I come up on stage and I'm trying to do these things. And, and, and that's the, the only word I have to describe is I'm, I'm embarrassed. But I really want this tiny home and... And this whole thing to work for not only for my family, but for myself, you know, I'm always I want something more than just, you know, what I guess I've had and what the norm is. So the new thing that I've been trying is, you know, meditation. And again, people might think, what does this have to do with the tiny home? But, you know, if you think of meditation, at least the way I'm thinking of it right now, you know, meditation is in the past, you know, trying to teach from what I understand. I'm not no, no meditation expert or anything like this. I'm just trying to figure all of this stuff out myself, you know, as I go along, I'm just bringing you this information. The little that I've read and that I've tried so far, it basically is there telling you to try to think, remove all of these unwanted thoughts and all of this craziness that's going in your head to try to Empty out your 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 thoughts as you're meditating and try to either I have no better any other way of saying it, but just empty it out so you could be happy with yourself and not be having all of these crazy thoughts coming in and out. And and let me tell you if you've ever tried it or not, you know, I, I've really never tried it until recently. 
it's it's a lot more difficult than what you would think to sit there and you close your eyes and you try to just be silent and let's just say just think of breathing you know that's the kind of method that i've been been a little bit more successful for me just you know imagining my breath coming in and out but as you're doing this all of these crazy well, not even crazy thoughts you know you just start thinking about oh i need to go drop this off at you know at this client's office or oh i need to go call my my wife because of this or you know it's just a constant barrage of thoughts coming in and out now here's where it comes back around to the tiny house so there's this new tv show called tiny house nation on i think the channel is fyi i'm not sure what channel or what depending on your cable or i don't even know if they're carrying that channel i'm not sure if you know i'm not i'm not i'm not positive i have direct tv and I'm able to get it. I don't know what number, you know, the, the channel's on. But and I don't even know really what day it comes on. I just put it to, to record. And I, it just shows up in my in my DVR and I watch it. But I've been able to watch a couple of episodes with my wife. And, you know, you, they go through the process, you know, of building this house. You know, either the, the people are having an issue getting it done or whatever the case might be. But, you know, there's a certain segment of this show where they pull out, you know, some containers. And then they tell you. All of that stuff in your house, you're only you're only able to take the stuff that fits in these containers, and it's usually like a plastic tub containers where you can put like your Christmas lights in, and you know it's like I think they're like 55 gallon. I'm not even sure what, what size. Anyways, it's just a couple of feet by a couple of feet, like maybe three feet by t- two feet, and then like three feet tall, and like you need to fit everything in there. You know, I'm sure you can fit a little bit more in that house. You know, whatever tiny home you're building. But, you know, they use it as, as, a, as a metaphor, you know, to how you need to declutter all of this stuff in your house to make it fit in this tiny house. So it's kind of like, for me at least, it's kind of like meditating. You have all of this junk all around you and you're trying to empty it all, get rid of all of this junk or empty it out just for a little bit, you know, at least when you're meditation, meditating and just fit the stuff that gives you peace, you know, at least as far as I understand it, into this small space. For me, that small space is my thoughts, you know, while I'm there meditating and all of the junk that can't fit in that container or all of these thoughts of just busyness in my head that don't ever give me a minute to to relax and to focus on on just being okay. You know, and a lot of this tiny house stuff is just about being okay with being okay. So it's been relatively, the meditating has been pretty tough for me, to be honest. You know, I try, I've been looking on the internet and trying to find like these, what's been working for me is thinking of breathing, you know? Um, and I've been trying to go and look for different methods of doing it. And I, every day, for the most part, I search for guided meditation videos on YouTube or people that put out, you know, audio of meditating um and it's been tough like i try to do like 15 minutes of it and usually i'll make it either if i'm lucky you know let's say i've done it about 15 to 20 times i've attempted to meditate out of those 15 to 20 times i've only made it made it through a 12 minute meditation i think once you know for the most part it's usually halfway to three quarters of the way before i just okay great um let me turn it off and i start searching my rankings for my website or whatever the case might be you know i start going off to work to do something else it's tough so here's where it goes back again to the tiny house you know i'm i'm thinking you know that i'm ready to do this big step which i which i am and I'm thinking that I'm going to be okay with getting rid of all of the stuff that we have. And, I mean, I really don't know until the time comes. I mean, it's it's going to be tough because when you see these people trying to fit this stuff in this, in this you know, tiny house nation, all of this stuff into this container, I could see them struggling. You know, the funny thing about it is that they, they in the show, is they, they come back like two weeks later or three weeks later to see how the family's doing. And that li- they definitely end up stuffing a lot more stuff into their little tiny home than what fits in that one container. You know, you come back and there's like stuff hanging off the walls and stuff hanging 
in in hallways and and they just you know finding ways to stuff all of this other things into your to this tiny house you know and and I understand why because it's pretty extreme to see this little tiny thing that you know they expect all of their belongings to fit there and it's like that i guess you know they go back to the meditation part it's kind of like that you know you're sitting there and you're like meditating and you know you kind of remove all of these thoughts and you're just focusing on breathing for a few minutes and it's oh look i'm getting it done and before you knew it just the thought of look i'm doing it you know you end up at i need to go to the grocery store and buy some i don't know some ham you know it's it's ridiculous the way that works so you know i'm looking at it as for me at least this is a big overarching type thing the whole entire my whole life i'm really trying to change my whole life and my whole thought process just about everything to hopefully make this transition better and and successful i really want this tiny house of whatever you want to call it to be a life changing event for me and for my family i really want to be in a different place. I really want this to work. I mean, I don't know which other way to say it. I want my life to change. I want my life to be happy and I really want this to work. I mean, that's it. That's all there is to it. And I know that there's going to be huge changes that I need to do in my life to make to allow this to be you know what I want it to be. So that's about it. I and on another thing, I'm going to start going through my journey of this meditation and and it might not even be meditating to be honest because I am exploring different all different self improvement methods of you know bettering my life and hopefully it'll trickle down to my kids and into my family you know and hopefully get us a little bit more centered and be okay with ourselves and where we're at so I'm going to start bringing you all of this information as I walk through the steps the books that I'm reading how I'm doing, if I've changed my mind on meditation, if I stop meditating, um if I'm trying something else. This process will be brought to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that and thank you again for listening. Send me your emails, your comments. I really enjoy them. Talk to you guys next time.